purpose. Now, developing yourself along the line of your purpose is one master key to greatness. I mentioned in the other services, I wish I, I, I got my bearing right before getting to university. I should have studied something different. I would have loved to study um, things like um, guidance and counseling or psychology or sociology rather than what I did because that would have been tailored along my path. So that you did a particular course, course in school does not mean that's your calling. Okay? Uh, there's something God wants to use you for or some things He will want to use you for to be a blessing. Now what we're saying about the spheres of influence is developing groups in the church where people of like um, areas of calling, of influence can collaborate can work together, sharpen each other. Can we have Proverbs 27, 17 on the screen? They can sharpen each other, they can strengthen each other and take dominion together. What we are realizing is this. One is too small to achieve greatness. We need collaboration. Somebody say collaboration. Okay, as iron sharpens iron, so a man sharpens the countenance of his friend. By yourself, you can't go so far. You can do some exploits when you get to a particular level, you will need the input of others to rise high. It takes collaboration to experience speedy development. The dominion we seek is a function of collaboration. We realize that a single lion rarely can take down a big prey. Now, I, I love animals, okay? I'm going to show you two videos. Some of us have seen it since morning. Um, when, when a lion wants to kill a rabbit, a squirrel, he doesn't call the other lions by himself or herself. You see it scampering in the forest or in the wilderness and then grabs the rabbit. But when it comes to a buffalo or something bigger, even elephants, you can't do it alone. So I realized that greatness is a function of collaboration. We talk about the lion a lot. Oh, the king of the forest. No animal. I've never seen any animal go near them. You know the way antelope, you go near a buffalo, you... They just stay by themselves, whether they are sleeping or not. But their strength is in their pride. That group, they can take down anything. 